he, it's scary for him to, because Brooklyn's not his, you know, only child. So for him, it's like, well, how many children will I have, you know? You've spoken previously about possibly having baby number two via surrogate. Is that something you're still considering? I am, I actually am seriously considering it. And I went to my doctor the other day just to make sure that it's not a possibility for me. And so I'm going to be having a conversation with her later today um, to get the results of my test. So she did ultrasounds because you know, I have fibroids and that was the main reason, um, one of the main reasons um, that I couldn't carry, but now, after nearly dying having her, it's a it's a great concern. So I think, depending on the news today, it will be my only option. And once you find out that news, if you are able to conceive, are you having that conversation with Mark that you could possibly have another baby with him? Yeah, you know, um, he, it's scary for him to, because Brooklyn's not his, you know, only child. So for him, it's like, well, how many children will I have? You know, so I think, that is probably the biggest um, issue for him, but I don't think he thinks he can love anyone more than he loves Brooklyn and his other children right now. So I don't know, they have a really strong, strong bond. And I think his fear is that what if, you know, the child comes and I don't have this kind of bond with them because you didn't carry her or we're, you know, still figuring out our relationship. So it's a conversation. Um, that um, we're still trying to figure out, honestly. But I, I really feel more and more that I do. Time is ticking and I want them to be close in age and um, it's a sensitive subject. Of course, I understand that and I appreciate you being so candid about it. You said at the reunion that you and Mark have been engaging in Zoom therapy sessions and that's been something that's go going well for the two of you? You know, it's going, and I, I don't think therapy is easy for anyone. Um, it's, um, you know, I would like to have more. I would like to have in-person sessions. I would like to really be able to um, dig a little deeper. Um, and so, you know, it's a start. That makes sense. When the subject of Nini and Greg came up at the reunion, Nini was trying to criticize your relationship, and you noted that you're still separated from Mark and that if he's out on a date, he's out on a date. It seemed kind of cavalier to me. Would you be that matter of fact or fine if he was out on a date? Well, no, I think that's part of, you know, in the reunions, having a tough exterior. Um, no, I wouldn't be fine with it because it would be hurtful. I wouldn't want him to be on a date with someone else. I would want him to completely focus on his wife. Um, if it happens, it's not something that I can necessarily control because we are separated. Um, but I think that that is kind of a sign of moving on. And I know that separated people do that, but I feel as though if we decide to move forward with a divorce is I think when you would date or go out with someone else. You're keeping in touch via FaceTime every day, so you're able to do some sort of virtual co-parenting? Yeah, we, we completely have the best conversations in the morning, at night before she goes to bed. I FaceTime him when I'm bathing Brooklyn, when I'm feeding her, when we're playing. Brooklyn pretends that he's literally in the room and she tries to feed him food to the, you know, through the phone. Um, she blows some kisses. She kisses the phone constantly. It's, it's as though she doesn't know he's not in the room. Uh, <laughs> but I know she's smarter than that, but she still interacts with him as though he's in the room. That's so sweet. What other milestones is Brooklyn hitting right now? She is talking up a storm. She has so many words, I have lost count. I used to keep count of how many words. So I was at 25 and then the next day I was at 30 and now it's 40 and now it's 50. And really she can repeat anything you say. She can count um, up to about 15. She just turned 18 months. Um, she is doing everything. I, I cannot keep track of the progress that she makes, it's just in strides. Like, she's an amazing, very precocious, very intelligent little girl. And it's amazing to just see her progress and her benchmarks and the
the doctor said that she was thriving and for a mom to hear that it was just the best best thing that you can hear you know that your child is thriving and this what's happening around her of course and well also she's repeating everything you probably have to keep her away from some of those dirtier mouthed housewives <laughs> <laughs> The other day, she got mad at someone um, spraying cold water on her, and she warned them a few times, no, no. And then she said, I told you. <laughs> Everyone paused, like, did she really just say that? <laughs> so yeah, I do have, I, I don't watch the show in front of her, um, often because I don't want her to emulate that behavior. It's not appropriate for a child. So I definitely don't keep her in the room when I'm watching the show.